with all due respect. With, with, with all due respect. What's going on? This is your man Mo. I have what? Strong intro. Yeah, yeah, go yeah, ahead, no, go no, ahead, no, go no, ahead. No. Oh, you want to keep that? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay cool. <laughs> Take that, two. At that point, you say, I thought I say Mo. You say Lady Smoke. Let's go. All right. What's going on, y'all? This is your main man, Mo. I have... Lady Simone. And we are the With All Due Respect Podcast. What's going on today? As y'all may have noticed, Lady Simone noticed that I have a little bit more energy today. That caffeine has kicked in. But nonetheless, Lady Simone, what is going on? Man, I'm blessed. Blessed just to be here and doing another podcast. I'm excited. I want to get right into this right here. All right. Today is the 29th, so tomorrow makes the 30th, and right after that, we jump right into the fourth quarter. And what I mean by the fourth quarter, who may not be privy to what I'm saying, is the last three months of the year, which is a very crucial time, um, good or bad. So going into the fourth quarter, there has been a repeated process against me. I will actually say, I guess I will say the fourth quarter has kicked my ass for the last four to five years. And I refuse, and I mean, I refuse to let that happen this year. This year, I think the table is going to turn, and I'm going to start kicking fourth quarter's ass. This right here. This year right here. How do you feel about the fourth quarter coming up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm excited about the fourth quarter. There's a lot of things that I've actually been researching, a lot of things I've been learning, man, a lot of self-searching that mm-hmm. I've been doing over mm-hmm. the past couple of weeks in I'm I'm excited about the fourth quarter as much as I'm excited about all the new things that I have learned leading up to this point and all the new things that I am about to learn, you know what I'm saying, in the coming months. So fourth quarter, I'm not looking at it as a challenge. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm on this whole new thing of manifesting things in our lives. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people look at it as speaking things into existence. We can do, you know, either way, however you want to look at it as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So, therefore, I'm at this level of manifesting whatever it is that I want to see done, whatever it is that I want in my life at this point in given time, I'm going to speak it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to actually not only speak it, but I'm going to actually live it as if, like, I already have it. So, when it does arrive, it's like, okay, let's move on to the next. I got this. We knocked this out. Let's go. And, you know, the late Nipsey Hussle, he was very big into speaking words of affirmation and uh, manifesting things. And he's actually even been on record to say certain things that he manifests. Like, even before he met Alora London, he said that was going to be his girlfriend. Like, this is when he was, like, on a come-up. Yeah. Long story short, he ended up with Laura London. So, um, there's definitely... And I've actually done it before myself. Not totally, I guess you would say, focusing on it. I have said things, not knowing how it was, how yeah. they were going to manifest... And honestly, it definitely manifested without me even knowing. I was just like, oh, wow. Yeah. It's, it's really uh, shocking because uh, there's really power in the tongue. And oh, yeah. uh, it's, it's definitely it's definitely doable. It's I think a lot doable. of people don't realize that they do it without even doing it. And it's, mm-hmm. you know, because I've been around such a vast variety of people. And, you know, I, I've been around the people who speak negativity all the time. And it's like every nothing in my life goes right. <laughs> And I I just can't do, I can't get up for nothing. You know what I'm saying? And those are the type of people that when you look at them, they're always in that slump. They continue to live in that because they continue to speak that. They reap their harvest, their own harvest. Exactly. Because that's that's what they see their life as and that's what they live. Not they not really knowing that man, you're speaking all you're speaking your whole entire life. Do you, think, do you think that they know it, but it's just so far fetched for us to be like, if I say that I want something that's gonna manifest. Do you, you think it's that far fetched? I think it's far fetched and what's just so exciting about it is that a lot of people don't realize like I heard something that said we don't even think that we deserve happiness. Like it is okay for you to be happy. It's okay for you to want something. You're not selfish. You know what I'm saying? You'd rather make somebody else happy and not make yourself happy. So if you want a new pair of sneakers or just something as simple as I want a new cup, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say, oh, no, I don't deserve that. I want that, but I got 100 other cups. No, if that's what you want, that's what you want. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's it's like, you know, we have to get out of the whole thing of not everything is going to be for everybody. Mm-hmm. So whatever it is that you like and whatever it is that you want, you speak that. Why not? People have been doing it forever. The universe brings back whatever it is that you put out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Rewind. Let's rewind. The universe brings back whatever it is that you put out. This is true. This is true. And typically, uh, 
people speak negative so much that negative come back and yeah. bite you. Just like you, like time. constantly, you gotta think about it. Over the years, what have you constantly say? Fourth, Fourth quarter, quarter has kicked my, my butt. Ass. Qu- no, 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 quarter. I say butt. I say ass. Yeah, yeah you say <laughs> yeah, and you look at it. Every fourth quarter that has happened. So now it's like, okay, I'm gonna say, I t- I I am going to tackle fourth quarter. That's not what Listen. I said. Could you say what I no, said? No, no, no. I'm, I'm just saying. It. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know. So when you look at it, when you start saying things like that, you watch. Things gonna manifest totally different. Mm-hmm. Now you're gonna see opportunities come that you may not even had noticed, which not saying it wasn't there prior, but you were so clouded. in that thought. Your mind was so clouded. Of, exactly. Of the previous the, the previous, I guess you would say the 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 carnage, the previous carnage that fourth quarter has yeah. left you in. It's hard, but see, I think it goes back to people speaking negative about themselves. Because they've been in such a slump, it's hard for them to see that I can literally change this with the power of my tongue. By just speaking into existence because you've been in a place, this place, for so long. And people don't realize, you know, one thing I would say, too, because some people will be like, okay, I'm going to speak this right here. You know, don't go off on the deep end now. You got to understand, when you speak things, you make sure you're very detailed about it. Because someone mm-hmm. told me that before. Like, my mom used to always say, when you pray, you make sure you pray and ask God exactly for what you want. I never really understood that. You know what I'm saying? I could say, oh, God, I want a new house. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not saying when I want this, how I want it to be, or this right here. You got to be specific in things that you're asking God for. Because I heard a story where the lady was like, she had a friend guy, a friend girl that manifested she wanted. She saw this guy, and she's like, this is going to be my my um, boyfriend. But in her mind, she never met him. She just was like, this is going to be my boyfriend. This is, she was an Instagram person or whatever. And sure enough, it's that she was playfully, playfully speaking him into her life. And somehow the dots connected and that became her well, we boyfriend. Can't, we can't say somehow if you manifest well, yeah, it. Yeah, it manifested in her life. It manifested in her life. You're absolutely right. And he became her boyfriend, but guess what? She didn't put no details on it. So when they started dating, it was like, oh, he is totally nothing like what I wanted. Maybe looks-wise, I wanted him to be my yeah. boyfriend, but he was nothing like the loving and the caring guy. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. when you start to manifest things in your life, when you start to speak things into existence, be specific. Don't sit there and say, oh, I want a dark-skinned guy. You get a dark-skinned guy, and this dude treats you like, you know what I'm saying, poop. Mm-hmm. Now, if you say you know I want somebody who's family family oriented, who's loving, who's caring, who's going to do this for me, you know we're going to share these same desires and all of this. That's putting that positive things. You got to be very very detailed, I believe. As well as patient, I think you got to be very very de- very very detailed and patient mm-hmm. when you're actually uh, asking for these different things as far as manifestation is concerned. Oh yeah. There was a book that a friend of ours um, sent us, and um, I think I got finished with it maybe a month ago like uh, what was it the power of, of manifestation the thing that kept the power of law attraction there you go well yes 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 yes, like yes, yes, law yes. but it was law an audio book it was an audio book yes it's on YouTube y'all please check it out and some of the things you, you really got to switch your mindset in order to get it says that if you want something you never had you got to do things you never done and that right there starts with your mentality as far as tackling your day on a day to day and breaking it down just as that because the uh the uh, what you call it the um greatness is doing something small things over and you over know, for yeah. that level of consistency till you actually get there my man bobby dollars just posted that he said a lot of people hit the scoring shot hit the shot and they sit there and celebrate no yeah get back on defense yeah yeah you know what i'm saying a lot we, we there's like a more, video on youtube like that really where people thought they finished and then they they didn't so he's at the race and he's at the line with his hands out like yeah and then other person just come shoot right by him and won the race you got to stay focused you got to stay focused to you actually have to see attack. it all the way through you got to see it all the way through it and just know that there's somebody else that that wants the same thing that you want so therefore yes the grand they made multiple of these things but for you to get exactly what it is that you want you understand there's other people that want it and then also you got to stay focused you got to work hard and get, and keep those positive affirmations going and i think another major major element into it all 
is you have to believe without a shadow of doubt that this will happen to you. You have to believe, like, listen, this can happen, this will happen, because there's a lot of times. That's the challenging part. It's, it's challenging, but then, and then also when you begin to get the negative thoughts of, because it's challenging to change years of inconsistency and years of talking to yourself yes. and treating yourself a certain way. Yes. It's so challenging to change that. But what you have to understand and realize is that if you put in your mind, like, I can have it when a negative thought comes, I'm not saying they're not going to come, but when they do come, you'll be like, nope, I'm Xing you out because I'm about to get this. This is mine. I don't care. Whatever thought may come, you know, you can replace that thought with doing something that you love to do, doing something that, you know, that, that makes you happy. That's if it's just something I'll say for me personally. I remember um, I learned a while ago how to crochet, right? Mm -hmm. So then I remember I saw I started following these different groups, and I'm like, man, these people can really, it's more than just blanket and old people stuff in this right here. So I'm looking at it, I'm just like, wow, these people making do um, doll babies and all kind of stuff, you know? And I remember, this is so crazy to me because I thought about it today. I remember talking to someone and she's gonna see it when it comes in the mail she told me she's like what are you doing and I'm just like hey I'm crocheting trying to get back in or whatever and she was like boy you always find time to do something and I was just like yep I said but when I figure out how to make this doll baby I'm gonna make your daughter a doll baby when I figure out how to do it and I thought about that today because I, I figured out how to do it and I believe they're beautiful and I'm good at it I'm going to make one custom for her daughter and I'm gonna mail it to her. I don't even know if she even remember what she said to me. But it just shows that when you continue to work at something and I and I always say, sure, I'm gonna be good at this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Do you think that you can manifest things if you're not in a place of peace? Like if you got chaotic things going around, going on around you, can you do you think that you can manifest these different items that you are? believe that you have to be strong stronger than whatever is going on around because some people unfortunately I heard a story where somebody was like they were living in a house with their family members because they didn't have a house but they were in the process of looking for a home and the family members were so negative to them like oh you need to give up you know this and the person was like they printed off the house and they printed off all these different stuff and they're like you know what this is going to happen. I'm going to get this. Say so many odds were against them. They don't got denied like two or three times, but they kept saying this is going to be their house. And they had to be so strong to beat whatever was going on around them because when everybody else is against you, you have to be so strong enough not only to speak it, but you have to believe that you deserve it at this point. You know what I'm saying? When you got other forces against you saying, nah, you don't deserve that. Nah, you're not supposed to have that. You know what I'm saying? And you think about it, that's generational, generational, generational curses. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times there are people that grow up to where their family probably say, oh, you're too big. Or, oh, you're too small. Or, oh, you're ugly. You're too dark. You're too light. You know, I've had a conversation with people, and they said that they have had family members, husbands, wives that spoke negative into their life. Mm -hmm. As in, like, you can't do that. Yeah. You know, you'll never be this. This is the best that you're going to do in life, blah, blah. I just don't understand that logic. First of all, yeah. how can someone pour what they feel could be one of their shortcomings into somebody else. I just don't, why wouldn't you want more for your loved one? Call me naive on that right there, but I just can't see me telling my son, look here son, you'll never do that. It's not gonna happen, Some right? people do, and that's the reality, and that's why I think it's so important, and if, any, if nothing else somebody take away from this conversation is, speak to your kids, pour into your kids. Every single night, every single day, we talk to our children. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's a, we have our safe circle, our meetings, and we talk. And I want to know what's going on, how you feel. But most importantly, I want them to understand. I'm not just going to tell them, oh, you can have anything you want. I'm going to show you how to get that. I want you to begin to speak stuff and manifest stuff in your life at this young age. So when you do become an adult, it becomes a little easier. So I think that's very, very important, you know, because there are people who don't spend that time with their children. And these kids are out here not even understanding or believing that they can have and do whatever it is that they want to. And then also with that right there, you got to add proper context to that as well. Like, son, you can get whatever it is that you want, but understand you're going to have to do this and do that, and there's going to be some letdown. There's going to be some people that you thought that was in your corner that's not really in your corner. There's going to be mm -hmm. people that you shunned away that you really need to have on your side, and they may not look like you. 
So it's a process of getting whatever you want, but then it goes right back to the initial point is a uh, manifestation. So I'm gonna say right now, what I'm gonna go ahead and manifest here right now is by the end of fourth quarter, I like to have all my bills on automatic draft. And that makes that may sound like a small thing. You can't say you would like to, you say I will have all Okay, I'm my sorry, bills. there we go. I stand corrected. I will have all my bills on automatic draft. And understand that may not sound like a lot to a lot of people, but if you really think about it, that means everything has to be within there and then some for them to automatically draft on days that you may not even remember that the light bill got to come out this day. That right there. So that's one of the things that I'm going to manifest is that all of my bills will be on automatic draft. What's one of the things that you would like to manifest if you would like to share? Um, I have a lot going on. Um, <laughs> honestly, right now, I'm not going to share anything. Okay. Um, I have, I actually have been doing a lot of scripting as well and writing out how things are going to go and how mm -hmm. I want to see things. You got to you know. write it out to make it, what, yeah. what's that? You got to write it out to, you got to write the vision out for it to be plain, something of that nature. Something. Yeah. So you got to be able to visually that. see it though. But one thing I would say what's exciting is I will share at the end of, at a December episode, I will definitely, okay. you know, come back with some highlights from things that I scripted and that I seen actually manifested. So one challenge that I will put out as well is if there is something that you want manifested in your life or something that you want to happen, you know, give yourself, you know, take the proper time to, to, to deal with self. To focus on self and to understand what it means to speak positive things into your life and to actually go about your days talking that thing and, and actually acting it out as if you had it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, if you want to share a story with us about things that you probably manifested or you want to, and then we can come back at the end of the year, that'd be awesome. But I wish everybody, you know, nothing but love, happiness, and mm -hmm. peace. And I think with manifestation, you got to also understand, because you made something about, you said something about self. You cannot pour from an empty cup. Absolutely. Okay? You cannot do that. So at some point, people will call it selfish. I guess it's the people that you may have been contributing to or helping. Now that you cut that stream of uh, attention or whatever you want to call it off, maybe deemed selfish. I don't think there's nothing wrong with being selfish at times because you got to take care of yourself mm -hmm. at times. So therefore, you, you don't have to pour from an empty cup. So in the process of manifestation, make sure you take care of yourself mm -hmm. in order to be in the right place to manifest what it is that you actually life. want. Absolutely. Ladies and do you have anything you would like to have mm -hmm. add to closing? No, nah, that's it. I just wish everybody well, man. It's exciting just to speak to you guys. Like if this episode doesn't reach you today, I promise you whenever mm -hmm. it does, it's mm -hmm. going to bless your spirit and i'm excited fourth quarter here we go fourth quarter in two days get ready yeah this is when all the good stuff happens this is when you oh yeah you built up you got all the holidays you got some of the best music well it used to be that come out during the fourth quarter it's a very trying time but to this year we will win this we year. We will right win. Here. And I want y'all to say it as well to yourself that we win. We will win this fourth quarter going into the new year, we, and we will continue to win. And even after you say it, remember that at the end, before we leave, it's already done. It's already done. Your table and is you already prepared. And you got to believe it. It's already prepared. So, I'm your main man, Mo. That is... Lady Simone. And we are the With All Due Respect Podcast. And as you can see, I woke up this morning. And if you're listening to this, so did you. Y'all have yourselves a good week. Peace.